Scientist X attempts forbidden experiments in a secluded lab to revive corpses using a zombie virus. Okay, yep, Scientist X, secluded lab, reviving corpses, zombie virus. This is everything that I would expect. I have a hand. Scientist X tried to conquer the Earth by spreading the zombie virus using a ubiquitous cube. A ubiquitous cube. Should I know what that is? Oh, oh, okay, yep, there it is. The Magic MacGuffin Cube, I see. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? A scientist who opposed X's terrible plan divided the ubiquitous cube into five pieces and hid it throughout the world. Okay, and how does me throwing junk at zombies play into this epic adventure? Yup, those are definitely some magic Tetris pieces of magic. And they're all over the place now. Enraged, mystery scientist X invaded the world using zombies to find the cube. Wait, didn't he need the cube to make the zombies? So how did he invade the world using zombies to get the- This is just full of holes already. Yep, that's a whole lot of zombies and one strange looking mushroom scientist. Defeat zombies and search for the cube pieces before scientist X conquers the world. Okay... I'm apparently part of some kind of super special task force? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused already! What's up guys, welcome to Throw Anything! So now that we're nearing the end of October, I wanted to start playing some Halloween themed games. And I remember that there was a little VR game about zombies crawling up your building and you need to throw stuff at them to make them stop. And I know it's not exactly Halloween themed, but the way I see it, if Die Hard is a Christmas movie, this is a Halloween game. I was actually really surprised that this has some kind of story to it now. Because when it was in early access and I had heard of it first, it was just an arcade game. Like, you were throwing stuff at zombies to survive, and the whole point was to survive. Th that's pretty much it. But now, we're part of some kind of task force. We need to gather the six magical doodads. We need to get rocket launcher points. There's, there's a whole lot going on. So I think we're just going to start off on normal, level one, and see what it has to offer. The City of Freedom and the Cube Signal has been detected. Am I some kind of weird anti-zombie Batman? You're just going to ignore my perfectly legitimate question? Okay, see if I care. So, we've got uh, dilapidated buildings, people crying out for help, fires. You think... Zombie Apocalypse or Detroit? I can't really tell. Oh no, Zombie Apocalypse. Yep, that would be the zombies. Okay, just one moment, guys. We're uh, we're gonna find some stuff to throw at you. Uh, hello, have we met? Well, of course we've met, right? This is my roommate. This is uh, Stevan. It's not Steven. He doesn't appreciate that. That's wrong. That's Stevan. Stevan, can you get the the delivery, please? Thank you. I uh, I need to to throw stuff at. Zombies. I have to throw it, okay? I know it's Half-Life 3, but I gotta throw it because the zombies are gonna eat our brains here. <laughs> you see, that worked perfectly well, and I gotta throw all this stuff. I, I gotta throw it, okay? I'm gonna throw you in a minute if you don't stop. There we go. You see? Everything is under control. This is why you're the one pacing around, and I'm the one throwing all your things out the window. <laughs> all my stuff is gonna remain safe. Uh, you didn't need that desk anymore, right? Yeah, because you don't have anything to put on it. <gasps> I found one of the doodads! You had one of them! Why didn't you tell me that? God, I'm trying to save the world and you're here hiding it alongside Half-Life 3? What? What are you complain? Okay, you know what? I, oh, <laughs> I've had enough of you, Steven! Okay? You had that coming! Stop. He was a traitor anyway. <laughs> no. He's fine! He's fine! He learned his lesson. He has a cast. I already really like this game. It's the cheesy and cartoony and arcadey, but God, it's already really fun, and I'm so happy I'm not throwing my things. If you didn't want me to throw all your things, then maybe you could hand me stuff rather than pacing in the corner or get the mail because a robot keeps showing up and delivering 
delivering things right. I work with those robots. I completely forgot. Okay, so I just need to keep looking stuff. What what the hell was? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, uh, Steven, we got problems. We got problems. Thank you. Can you please Danger. come with come with me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, your sacrifice won't be in vain. Steven, there is a very large mink-wearing zombie climbing up the side of the building. <laughs> Your complaints are- you know what? Your complaints are the least of my concerns, Steven. There we go. That makes my life so much easier. <laughs> now- Oh, you're back again. Good. I, I I knew that would happen. I totally knew you would be okay. Right? You're invincible. I should just keep throwing you. Yeah, let's just keep throwing you. We did it! We managed to kill- 50, 60 zombies, a bunch of throwing combos, broken count, NPC, Kevin, his name is Kevin. Why would he tell me Steven? Or better yet, how did a pink woman zombie the size of a garage show up without anybody noticing? Like I work with an entire team of robots and they just had no clue. I got their MacGuffin. Okay, I got the L piece. We're gonna get our Tetris. I climbed back aboard the delivery Zeppelin. I'm a really lame Batman. That is that is not very cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Okay. That looks like progress to me. That was a thing. Now, we need to have a word. You, wake up. Th this one, you, you. Hey, hey. Is he having a seizure? What the, somebody help this man. I unfortunately don't have anything to throw at him, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to move on. This is level one, so level two will bring us to a little bit of a Christmassy level. It sometimes snows in October, okay? I can remember growing up and going out trick-or-treating in the snow, you know, before global warming was a thing. Looks like we have some unfavorable weather in the temporary landing. And the cube signal has been detected in Snow Village. Probably around the top floor of a building with a nice open window and a lot of crap to be thrown. Yeah, very helpful. Huh. Turns out zombies can't get cold in the winter. I didn't think that would be the case. They're already cold. They're, they're dead. That is going to drive me completely crazy. This entire level. Uh, excuse me, Karen, could you fix this? No, no, Maybe? No? no? No, 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 please. Shouldn't you be doing so? I'm gonna save us from the zombies. You fix the photocopier. No, I'm gonna save us from the zombies and you're going to fix the photocopier. Karen, I'm trying to save us right now. So help me God, if you sass me one more time, I'm gonna power bomb you out this window, okay? Could you at least get the mail? The robot came in and dropped off the mail. Could you bring me the mail so that I could save our lives? Karen, can you hear me? Earth to Karen. That's it. You know what? That's the last straw. You are getting power bombed. Ugh. I might have been a little bit in the wrong there. Okay, and Karen was a little bit in the wrong there. So we're both going to accept responsibility. We did some quick team building exercises and now we're in this together. So I'm going to break this into a million pieces and she's going to get the mail. Isn't that right, Karen? So I'm just going to... No, don't. Don't start up again. Okay, old... Have... Bits. Oh, this actually photocopies. Oh, that's so much more useful than I thought. I thought it was just loud and annoying and pointless, but <laughs> that's you. Karen, we might have a bit of a problem. Like I've broken pretty much everything in here. Pretty much, okay, I'm working on it, but I haven't found the magic doodad. It has to be in here, right? That's the whole point of being here. I'm, I'm clearly not here to save you and throw couch cushions at zombies. Could you maybe help a little bit? Here, hey, 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 you, get over here. Can you talk to her, please? J just have a word with her. More than one word, actually, a few words, not just danger. You're not gonna stop, are you? You were the one who was sleeping on the job. I recognize you. I'm happy to hear that you weren't having a seizure, but uh, you, you really gotta go. Oh, I'm willing to bet that it's in this. It has to be, right? Hopefully I didn't throw the code out the window. Karen, do you have the code? Is it, uh, no, it's not there. Okay, give me the code, Karen. Uh, there, there, okay, I'll interrogate you when you get back right now. <laughs> you saw nothing.
<laughs> right now, I need to save us. Oh crap, Karen, Karen, my golf clubs, Karen. I need my golf clubs, thank you. Everything, everything is under control, Karen. Now, that code, please. Give me the code, Karen. Give me the code, Karen. Okay, you know what? You are, you are, <laughs> you are the zombie Plinko master, Karen. You're doing great work, but I, I really, really need that code. Or, or a gun. Yeah, a, a gun works. That, that's not how you use a gun. That's not how you use a gun. Okay, Karen, Karen, I need my golf clubs, Karen. <sighs> what? Zombie businessman, get out of here. You were fired last week. Karen, please explain to this man that he's not welcome here. Thank you. You saw nothing. Why does he always come in to see my murders, okay? Here we go. He's got so many of them. Uh, Karen? That's weird. Karen, I found her shoes, but she's nowhere to be seen. Eat. No! It's zombie Karen! No, no, stay, stay out. Just stay out, zombie Karen. Not interested. Oh, that, that is just not good. Thank you. Come again. Oh, we, we got, we got big problems, guys. We got real big problems and no Karen to bug me. I, I'm just, I'm running out of stuff. Is that a rifle? I think there's a rifle behind me. I should probably, yeah, that, that might get the job done. Can I, no, no, I need to shoot it. How do you, how do you, sh how, how do you shoot? How, how do you shoot? How do you, now is not the time to figure this out, okay? What's, what's with the giant fart cloud? Oh my god, no, no, stay back, stay back. I don't know how to use guns. I didn't do the tutorial. Okay, everything is fine, right? We're, we're not running out of stuff. We, we got plenty of stuff. We got, we got plenty of corporate pollution to, to go off of. Uh, here, have a, an apple, whatever this is. I still haven't found the code. She never gave me the code. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, stay back. Stay back. Maybe I could just finish this guy off. I gotta take stuff off the walls. We are running out of options here, people. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got I, I got him, but I need golf club. I need, I need golf club. There we go. There we go. Oh, I still don't know what this code is. I can't find it anywhere. Stay back. I just, I don't have anything, right? There's almost nothing left in here. The place is empty. Crap. Ah, damn. <laughs> NPC Scarlet. Oh, yeah, that must be your stripper name or something, but she she's dead. Points earned, a thousand. Well, like, that was cool and all, but how was I supposed to get into the safe? There wasn't a code in here, was there? I, d I definitely looked through most things that I threw. Now, even though I lost, I still keep earning points, and it goes on my point card, which I should just be able to pop in here. Yeah, there we go. I got a thousand points. I can get a gun that I don't know how to use. Maybe we should go to the shooting range. I would love to go to the shooting range and figure out what I'm doing wrong. I get it now. The button you use to pick stuff up is the same button you use to shoot and put it down. So I kept picking it up and putting it down as opposed to giving it time to let me shoot. That that makes way more sense. If I had a gun where I could shoot zombies, it'd make life a whole lot more easy than throwing Karen at them. Okay, there has to be a code here somewhere. Maybe it has something to do with this? That's just a 3D printer. I don't think that's really helping me. You need to really shut up. That would be great. I get tiny little zombies, <laughs> which I guess I could just sit there. I could throw those later. Is there anything on the bookshelves that would help me? A plaque of appreciation to give this game a lot of fun and thank you for it. Uh, not quite what I'm looking for. Winner, firstborn championship win. And I got trophies with nothing of interest on them. I got a spray bottle. Hey, 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 you, you, you stay back, you stay back. I'm, I'm, I'm investigating things, thank you. I don't think the paintings have anything of interest on them. I'm gonna have to deal with some of these zombies at some point. <laughs> That's the issue, I, I gotta do so much at once. Really should just be throwing Karen and not my furniture because she does a great job, but at the same time, I might need her. Like, I don't know if she's part of the puzzle or not. Please go away, there we go. You, what's going on here, okay? You must have some inside idea. Uh, nothing there. Anything, oh, anything on these? No, God, it's all useless. 
The calendars have a whole lot of numbers, but like sixes and sevens and stuff don't help me. I need ones or zeros. And you really didn't have anything on you at all? Well, then you're just useless to me. <laughs> oh, maybe the calculator? Calculator have anything? No, I don't get it. There has to be a code here somewhere. Karen, if you're not gonna give me the code, then at least help us survive. There we go. <laughs> at least she's helping, right? I don't, I, I know, no, 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 okay? I, I don't get it. I don't know what we're supposed to do right now. Do you hear that, Karen? Those are not good noises because we're still short on codes. Okay, how about you deal with some of them? I'll get the mail because you're never gonna get the mail, right? How about we use the gun? How about you help me out a little bit, right? If we could just uh, pop a cap in some of these guys. Oh, you can smoke screen all you want. You're just delaying the inevitable. There we go, there we go. Okay, get off my lawn. <laughs> that really, really helps, but we're not here for zombies, are we, Karen? We're here for code. You're, you're breaking my balls. You really are. Okay, there there has to be a code here somewhere. I've read everything before I throw it. Absolutely no help. Uh, can you maybe get him? There we go. Oh, yeah, I can tell that definitely hurt him. Hey, 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 you. I need I need your help. I need your... Oh, crap, 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 crap. No, no, no. Danger, danger indeed. Danger, danger. Come on, something good. Axe, I don't mind. Uh, okay, I, I think I need to win after I get it as well, which is a definite problem because I'm certainly not winning right now. He's getting a little close. Karen, he's getting... Karen, he's getting a little close. No, no. Okay, well, I win again. Once again, I never found a code. There has to be a code. There has to be something here that I'm missing. Are you kidding me, Karen? It was in the mail the whole time? All I needed to do was open all the mail packages and it was just sitting in there. One, uh, zero, one, one. Stop. Okay, that makes my life way easier. <laughs> so now we have a whole bunch of stuff to throw and you're sequestered to your little dummy corner. So you just hang out over there. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? I'm not gonna throw you to your death. Unless you make me. I really just don't understand why she's over there losing her mind. Every time I pick something up and throw it, she sounds like she's getting hurt. <laughs> like she's very, very upset about all of this. Do you want me to just throw money at you? Is that it? I'll just throw fistfuls of money at you until you're happy. <laughs> That's all I know how to do. Oh, we're actually gonna do it this time though, right? There's no way I could lose. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll use this just in case. Just clear some of you guys out. There we go. And uh, that's, that's the stuff. And then you can take that. Stop. And uh, I'll hold on to that. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Big guy's coming. Big guy's coming. We don't have a whole lot to deal with. Good. I still have a shotgun. Stop. I still have a whole bunch of stuff. I, I should be able to do this. Bring it on, zombers. Uh, Karen, could I maybe get a hand over here, please? Thank you, appreciate it. You too, young man. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, don't you dare run from me. I'll take that. Uh, it works for me. Okay, hey, 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 hey. get out of here. <laughs> Turns out, guns are good. <laughs> yeah, that works really well. I definitely like that. Uh, there we go, and we're done. And Karen didn't even die. She just had a broken arm or scarlet or whatever wounded close enough This time we actually made off with the magic MacGuffin up to our I Never understood the whole delivery. Why why delivery? It doesn't make any sense <laughs> Either way you can go and connect. Yeah, there you go. That's a uh, That's a thing you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Throw Anything, guys. And I know I've been saying this a lot with some of the VR games that I've been playing, but I am incredibly surprised. I thought this was gonna be like a one-off video where it's gonna be a very arcade-style game. I'm gonna survive for the sake of surviving, I'll have some fun with it, and then that would be it. But there is a, a story here, and characters, and stuff to do, and I am inclined to play again. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and maybe I'll return to compile the entire Magic MacGuffin. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.